Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Autumn and I talk about the JET program, Japan, living in Japan, all things Japan right now. That's where we're at. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the dreaded desk warming season, y'all. So first, let me preface this by saying every situation is different. Not everybody is going to have the same set up for summertime and with that being said my summertime's desk warming season is not a thing but I'll get into that a little later I wanted to give you guys some tips on what to do during desk warming season some serious tips because you your brain might rot out of your head if you don't have something to do honestly so let's go ahead and get into this video so usually summertime is summer break. So summer break lasts about two to three weeks, give or take. And basically what this means is students don't have classes. However, they may still need to come for your, uh, for their club activities. However, that's only like an hour or two a day. It's not that long. So for the most part, you're gonna be sitting there for six, seven hours, not doing anything. And I am so sorry if you have a situation like this because I could not imagine, I could not imagine it. Luckily, I have a board of education and a supervisor that is literally from the heavens. So my summers are not set up the same way as most people's. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You can't just sit there. So what are you gonna do? First thing you can do for desk warming season is pick up a skill or a trade or a class. So I know a lot of people will take an online class for something they wanna do in the future when they go back to their home country. Some people will take a Japanese course. Some people take TEFL courses. And depending on what type of TEFL course you take, JET does reimburse, reimburse you for your time um, but yeah some people work on a skill some people decide that they will study Japanese I don't know if you are one of those people that studies for eight hours a day but like good luck bro cuz it ain't me um, and some people decide to pick up other things so working on Excel or working on how to use PowerPoint or how to like program if that's what you're into a lot of people can use this time to like work on a skill so build a skill okay so that's one thing you can do during desk warming season the second thing you can do during desk warming season is <sighs> it's gonna sound so crazy work on stuff for the next semester so for me I am not t1 however I do have friends that are t1 so I would imagine that this would be a great opportunity to get things set up for the next couple of lessons that you're going to have with students like lesson plans and activities and games so this is a perfect opportunity to research and prep and like check whether or not you and your JTE are on the same page about like what's gonna be done for each lesson um, now your JTE might be busy so girl or boy good luck but this is a really good opportunity to get that stuff prepped so that when the new semester comes around in just about a week you have enough material to work off of desk warming tip number three is super simple super simple it is to basically how can I put this watch TV but okay hear me out hear me out hear me calm down calm down hear me out ask your people and be discreet so those are my two warnings for you you cannot tell don't don't you don't you go out here telling people that autumn told you to to watch tv at your desk and you get in trouble and you blame me girl mm -mm, don't do it basically if you have a place that you can duck off and watch some tv everybody has a phone obviously so I think that this is a perfect opportunity for you to download some movies or download some TV shows via Netflix, Hulu, whatever, and you can watch some TV. 
Now, if I were you, I would check and see if that's okay to do. And if it's kind of like, eh, you know, maybe no, because you know how Japan likes to be passive aggressive about freaking everything, then maybe find a place that you know people aren't going to be disturbing you and watch TV there. It always helps to have a set of headphones too. So for example, if you're gonna go watch TV, go watch TV in like the library where there aren't any students or for my school, we have two gyms. One gym is always in use. The other gym is not really in use because it's kind of like a like an overflow gym. So I'll go into the overflow gym, which is usually shaded by the way, so it's cool in there. And I will just watch TV or listen to music in that room. Um, however, most of the time I can watch TV and listen to music in the teacher's room or I'll listen to a podcast. Basically, this part is consume yourself with media, okay? So basically, like I'll watch TV or I'll like listen to a podcast or watch a YouTube video or, or 17 and I will just sit at my desk. But fair warning for those of you who choose to sit at your desk and do this, please be discreet. Don't be cackling about something on TV while everybody else is working. Be discreet, be quiet, don't disturb people around you. You don't want it to be obvious that you're watching TV, <laughs> okay? So that is just my tip for, that. that's just my tip, okay? Don't make it obvious, but yeah, do your thing, do your thing. The tip that I have for desk warming season and then how to like handle it is if you have not done this before, I mean, I, I think you should, but honestly, if you're new, if you're a new jet, this is a perfect time for you to explore your school. And I mean, explore. I was walking into rooms other than the principal's room. I was walking into rooms to figure out where the hell everything is. I walked that school maybe six times so that I could get a really good sense of like what is where. So now whenever a kid is like, oh yeah, I was in the teacher's room on the fourth floor, I know exactly where that is. I know exactly where that is. I was in the media room, I know exactly where that is. It's a good place to explore. Explore, explore, explore your school. Cause honestly, nine times out of 10, most of the classrooms will be empty. This is perfect, explore your school. Another way you can enjoy your um, desk warming season, if you are allowed, go have fun with the kids. If you get there early enough, you might be able to actually like talk with the students that are there that are doing bukatsu and club activities. And a lot of times people will play baseball with their kids or play soccer with their kids and like join in on like practices. If you are a band geek, oh, the kids love to talk about brass band, okay? So that's a really good idea. Me personally, I am not into that, but like I'm doing other things. And that is what's going to lead me into my next tip, which is help out with speech contests. There are various contests going on around this time. There's tournaments happening, contests, speech contests, art contests, anything that you can help out with during this time for the students. I'm sure the teachers will be appreciative. It also gives you a good opportunity to get to know the students better. So I am usually always doing speech contest prep. So I'm helping them with their pronunciation, with their intonation, with their uh, speech presence and how to not be shy. So this stuff really is what takes up my time. Like I'm nine times out of 10, I'm doing this and I'm not just chilling at a desk. But if you are chilling at a desk, this is also a good opportunity for you to not only get to know your kids, get to know your teachers. You will be amazed how chatty they will be when they are not stressed out trying to teach children. They like to talk, okay? So talk to them about things, talk to them about your hobbies. You're gonna be going to festivals during the summer, so this is a perfect opportunity to get the inside scoop on what festivals are going on because I swear, festivals in Japan are like hush hush. They never tell you when they're happening you just hear stuff happening and you're like, eh, Nani? Hmm? Is that a festival? Yeah, so 
This is a perfect opportunity for you to get to know your teachers and your Kocho Sensei, Kyoto Senseis. Like everybody's gonna be a little more relaxed because it's summertime. So they're not gonna be all dressed up and like ready to teach children. They're gonna be more chill. They're gonna be rolling in 8, 8.30. They're gonna be like, what's up with you, bro? And you're like, what's up, what's up, let's talk. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to talk with your teachers and get to know your teachers. And you're practicing your Japanese, so it's a win-win. You're making friends and practicing. The last thing that I wanted to mention for basically, you know, desk warming season is if you are like me and you are on the tube and you are doing YouTube or you make videos, TikTok content, this is a perfect opportunity for you to bulk create all of your content. So a few years ago, I talked about how I do YouTube and how I bulk create, I mass produce a lot of videos in one sitting. This is perfect because not only can you produce videos, but you have the most amazing aesthetic as a Japanese background, like Japanese classroom background, like come on, like that's amazing. Me personally, I cannot do this because it would just, like my camera's too big and I don't like the way my phone video records. So you might be able to do this though. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to duck off into a quiet room, record a ton of content so that you have a lot to work with for the summertime. So I highly recommend that you consider this list of things to do for desk warming season. Desk warming season does not have to be mind numbing. You just have to choose to make it not mind numbing. You know, do something, get a hobby. Like, oh my God, if you come to Japan without a hobby, you are literally an alien. I'm sorry. You gotta have a hobby. You gotta be into something. You gotta be into something. Crafts, games, something, please. Find a hobby that you can do at a desk. I have said this to y'all before, hopefully you're listening. So that's pretty much the end of the tips, but now I'm going to get in why I am always so busy for desk warming season. So for the last two years, well technically last year and this year, I have had to take over for another ALT that is left. So if you did not know, um, it is maybe like the, it's, the end of July so most jets that have decided not to recontract are gone either this week or the week prior so what that means is I have been charged with making sure that my uh, other ALT that was in the area's students have coverage for uh, the speech contest so unfortunately I have been going to four different schools for the last week and a half and it is tie-in. It is difficult, it is stressful, I'm always go, 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 go. Even today, even now, I have another like two, three hours before I have to be at another school. So because of this, I am never really just chilling at a desk. And another thing that I can like brag on is that when we are not helping with speech contest prep, we are at home. My supervisor does not play none of that. He doesn't understand why you would be sitting in a room not doing nothing and it's summertime and you're at work. So basically, if when we're finished, if we finish early with the students, we can just go do whatever we need to do. That is only because my board of education is sent from God. <laughs> like every situation is different. You may not have the same situation. And if you don't, I am sorry, but this is how it's set up for me. So because I've been so busy, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, making videos and making content this summer has been so difficult. Like even me recording this video, I had to literally pull out the will of God for me to get this video out, like <sighs> y'all. But anyway, with that being said, that is why I've been so busy. That is why summers are not desk warming season for me. Um, 
and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you guys can take something from these tips and that when you get here and you really get into the swing of things on jet you know what to do for dust warming season you're not going to be sitting there with you know bugs crawling out of your ears because there's nothing there so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in another video maybe maybe because it's hot it's hot girl and um I don't, I, I'm just, I don't, I don't feel like moving. I don't feel like moving. Bye.